Assalamu alaikum. I'm Lira. Years ago, I made a promise that I will recite Surah to Surah Surah to Yasin every day for my parents. Now I remain very busy with my work, and I often miss it. Will I be sinful if I quit this intention? What should I do now? Hope to get a reply from you. Jazakallahu khairan. Before I reply to your question, I would like to mention an important ruling as far as Islam is concerned. And I mentioned this ruling in the previous question answer session, but I would like to repeat it again for emphasis. This is a very important ruling in Islam. It is that as far that as far as the deen is concerned, anything that is part of the deen, in order to do it, we require proof for it. So anything that is part of the deen, we require proof for it. For example, offering two rakab before the Fajr prayer, we have evidence for it that the Prophet, peace be upon him, offered it. And he said that it is better than the world and the wealth in it. We have evidence for offering the five daily prayer. We have evidence for offering the night prayer, that is the tahajjud prayer in the glorious Quran, as well as the ahadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But as far as mu'amalat are concerned, those things that we do on a daily basis, our daily routine, which is not part of the deen, all those things that are not part of the deen, we require proof for not doing it. All of it is halal, it is permitted unless there is evidence which proves that it is haram. For example, generally food, it is permitted for us. But except but certain foods are not permitted for us wherein there is evidence which proves that these certain foods are not permitted for us. So generally all food is permitted for us except that what is prohibited. For example, eating pork. For example, consuming alcohol because we have evidence for this from the glorious Quran. So as far as Muhammad are concerned, all things are permitted unless proven that it is prohibited. Now coming back to your question that you made a promise that you will recite Surah to Yaseen on, the, on behalf of your parents, your parents who have passed away. So can you and you have been unable to do this because of your busy, busy schedule? What should you do in this situation? Firstly, I would like to mention and I would like to say that there is no text in the glorious Quran nor in the authentic hadith which says that we should recite Surah to Yaseen on a daily basis for someone who has passed away or even for, a, for someone's parents who, has, who have passed away. So there is no evidence for this. So since there is no evidence for doing, for reciting Surah to Yaseen, especially for a person's parents who have passed away on a daily basis, this should be avoided. So firstly, what I would like to tell you is that you should stop doing this that is reciting Surah to Yaseen on a daily basis for your dead parents. Generally reciting Surah to Yaseen, there is no problem in it. But specifically reciting it for your dead parents on a daily basis, this should totally be avoided. There is, this is not from the Sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and there is no evidence for this. Now, since you have made an oath, since you have made a promise, that you will recite Surah to Yaseen every day for your parents who have passed away. So what should you do in this situation since you are unable to fulfill your promise? I do not know what kind of promise have you made. Have you made a general promise without taking the oath of, without taking the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or have you made a promise that is an oath by taking the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? If you have made a general promise without taking the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then inshallah you can ask forgiveness for this sincerely and inshallah you will be forgiven and but naturally you should stop doing this that specifically reciting surah to yaseen for your parents who have passed away on a daily basis if you have taken an oath by taking the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for example you have said wallahi i will do so and so then in this situation there is compensation for it because whenever you take an oath by the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you do not fulfill it or you break this oath which is known as al hind fil yameen then in this situation there is kafar, there is compensation for it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 89. 
لا يؤاخذكم الله باللغو في ايمانكم الله does not hold you accountable for the meaningless oath that you take ولكن يؤاخذكم بما عقدتم الايمان but he holds you accountable for the true for the oath that you take with true intention فكفارته اطعام عشرة مساكين من اوسط ما تطعمون اهليكم او كسوتهم او تحرير رقبه So the compensation, the kafara for it is to feed 10 poor people. The same food that you feed your family. Or clothing 10 people or freeing of a slave. So you have the option of doing any one of these three things if you break your oath that you have taken by the name of Allah. Or if you do not fulfill this oath that you have taken by the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you cannot do any one of these three things, that is feeding 10 people or clothing 10 people or freeing of a slave, then you can move on to fasting for three days. And this is continuous three days. But unfortunately, many people, they directly move on to fasting for three days without looking at the first three options, which is important. If you cannot do any one of the first three options that I've mentioned, then you move on to fasting for three days. So whenever we take an oath by the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should be very cautious. We are, taking an, we are taking an oath by the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is very important that we should try to fulfill this oath. If it is something, if you have taken an oath to do something that is haram, but naturally we should not do this thing that is haram. And we should stop this immediately. But in fact, if we've taken an oath by the name of Allah, we should always see to it that we, if we have broken this oath, we compensate for it based on the compensation mentioned in Surah Al-Maidah, chapter number 5, verse number 89. So I hope that answers your question.